Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to set up Kali Linux 2018 with private internet access. I'll open a new browser page and navigate to ipleague.net to show you my current location. As you can see, I'm currently located in Canada, Ontario. Next, I'm going to open a terminal window and install the following packages. So I'm going to do apt space install space network dash manager space network dash manager dash open VPN space network dash manager dash gnom space network dash manager dash openvpn dash num now if you come across this error you can do rm slash var slash lib slash dpkg slash lock and retry and also rm slash var slash cache slash apt slash archives slash lock and run the command again press enter to confirm and it's gonna take a few minutes now that we have installed our network manager packages we're gonna have to install openvpn so we're gonna cd into our slash etc slash openvpn then we're gonna do a wget space https colon slash slash www dot private internet access dot com slash openvpn slash openvpn.zip then we're gonna unzip it using unzip space openvpn.zip next i'm gonna pick a server location like japan for instance and i'm gonna list the content of that file using cat japan.ovpn i'm gonna move my terminal window to the side and go to vpn settings here i'm going to add a new vpn and we're going to choose open vpn so let's name this one as japan for the gateway i'm going to look at the content of the file let's say japan.privateinternetaccess.com copy paste it now for the authentication i'm going to use user password like that i'm gonna enter my username and my password Next, I'm going to browse for the certificate on my drive, location, computer, etc, open VPN, and look for the file, there it is, and open. Next, I'm going to go in the advanced settings and change the gateway port to the one listed in the configuration. 1198 then I'm gonna use the LZO compression checkbox then I'm going in the security tab and look for the cipher option which is AES 128 CBC and also the HMAC authentication which is SHA-1 and press OK and add and 
turn it on. So sometimes you'll find a problem here. So what you have to do is to go back to identity, re-enter your password and set it to store the password for all users. It's a workaround that will allow it to work. So I'm going to re-enter my password. Make sure that save password for all is reset and re-enable it. And now I'm going to reopen my browser. Go back to IPLeak.net. And we're going to check if we're indeed in Japan. Which is the case. So I hope you like this tutorial. If that's the case, please press like and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching.